Excuse me, could you turn around and face me? I have something I'd like to say to you. Oh, you don't have to scream. I don't mean you any harm. You're safe with me. I know what it looks like, well... I know what I look like. It's not every day you see an angel, right? For humans like you, anyway. Look at these wings. I really am an angel. Well, I know my wings are stained black. I can understand why that would seem alarming. But I really am an angel. You told me yourself, remember? You called me an angel. You're an angel. All because of some token kindness on my end. That was really quite heavenly of you. I was in the form of a human at that time. I take that form from time to time. It's just so hard feeling like an angel, you know? Nothing's ever good enough. No prayer is pious enough. No charity is generous enough. No love is deep enough. So, it's impossible to really feel like an angel. At least I never really felt like one. That's why I take on a human form so often. It makes me feel less ashamed. When I pretend to be human, it makes me feel less like a failure of an angel. <clears throat> There's a lot to make me feel like a failure of an angel. I'd always stutter when saying my prayers. I'd always forget the exact wording or mispronounce them. I don't know how normal I sound to you, but I actually have a bit of an accent in my language. Uh, the language of the angels. The other angels would laugh at me, at best, hit me, at worst. Often they would get angry at me, they would yell, they would shout. I'd cover my ears, but I could still hear them, the bleeding of my ears upon my hands, reminding me that everyone knows what a screw-up I am. But not you. You don't think I'm a screw-up. You called me an angel. I even disagreed, but you insisted I was an angel. Again and again I disagreed, and again and again you insisted that I was an angel. Me. A real angel. You're a bit of an angel yourself. You should tell me how you're hiding your wings. I'd love to. But not only did you call me an angel, which I love, by the way. Please, do it more. Come on, call me an angel. You're an angel. Oh, that's great. That's the stuff. Come, one more time, please. You're an angel. Yes, there we go. I just cannot get enough of that. I really want to ask for more, but I don't want to be a burden on you. Seriously, if I didn't restrain myself, we'd be here all day, until Judgment Day. Maybe I can just get a recording of you calling me an angel, and then play it on repeat for myself. By which I mean I already did. You're an angel. You're an angel. You're an angel. I hope you don't mind. Now, where was I? I was sure I had a point here somewhere that wasn't just me fawning over you. Oh, right. Like I was saying, not only did you call me an angel, but you helped me be one. You know, you really motivated me to be an angel. A real angel. Part of our job is looking over humans. 
I never cared much about that, though. Humans remind me too much of angels. But not you, though. You, you're perfect. A real angel. At least, the way an angel should be. The sins I've seen you commit aside. And that's why you made my job so easy for me. It was always a joy for me to look after you. Killing every stinking, filthy demon that breathed in your zip code. All in the name of keeping you safe. Or, of course, it wasn't my job to be your personal guardian angel. That honor wasn't bestowed upon me. But I like to think that I took that title up myself. So, please. I'd love it to see if you could think of me as your own personal guardian. After all, I did so much to protect you. Not just from demons, but from humans too. You see, I know a bit about human loves you. I've watched them all this time after all, in terror from up in heaven. I know the horrors and atrocities they can commit. And I know the lies they can tell. Worst of all of them to me is when they tell you they love, they you. love you. They love you. Which is why I wanted to protect you from such humans, to spare you the venom spewing from their lips. And that mission started in heaven. 